Can learning how to make clean water save your life? Have you been wondering if the water coming out of your faucet is clean enough to drink? And if it is time to learn how to make clean water without depending upon the public water supply system? Many people worry about this, so they buy bottled water, which in many cases can be just as bad or worse than tap water. Some people purchase water filtration systems for their house without realizing the risks involved with them. You have reason for concern about the safety of your drinking water because the Environmental Working Group revealed in their 2009 analysis of water utility tests that there are at least 74 million Americans in 42 states who are drinking chromium and metal-polluted tap water. You may remember the Aaron Brockovich movie that was based on a real-life story about the $333 million settlement that Pacific Gas and Electric Company had to pay to the residents in Hinkley, California when they proved their cancer was linked to the hexavalent chromium-contaminated tap water. This is enough proof that public water supply systems are not safe and that you need to learn how to make clean water to stay healthy. The really scary part that you may have never heard about was the cover-up that a Wall Street Journal investigation discovered in 2005, along with a separate Environmental Working Group report that was based on court documents and depositions from a similar lawsuit in Kettleman City, California. The investigation and subsequent report revealed that Pacific Gas and Electric hired consultants who published a fraudulent analysis of the mortality rate for Chinese villagers with cancer that were exposed to hexavalent chromium. This was a blatant attempt from Pacific Gas and Electric to disprove the link between cancer and the hexavalent chromium chemical in tap water. It is obvious that you and your family's health cannot be left in the hands of others at this point. A respected journal of occupational and environmental medicine published the fraudulent study released by Pacific Gas and Electric. The Journal of Occupational and Environmental Medicine finally retracted the fraudulent study in 2006 because of pressure from the Environmental Working Group. Even though the study was retracted, it was not widely publicized, and millions of people still put their faith in the municipal water supply systems for healthy drinking water. However, the proof is overwhelming why you cannot consume the water coming out of the tap, and it is not really a good idea to be bathing in it either, because these harmful chemicals can be absorbed right through the skin. Learning how to make clean water for yourself is the only way you will truly know that the water is safe to drink. The Natural Resource Defense Council says, drinking water plants are old and out of date, and water supplies are increasingly threatened and contaminated by chemicals and microorganisms. The former chief of the U.S. EPA, Carol Browner, adds, the way we guarantee safe drinking water is broken and needs to be fixed. Dr. David Ozanoff of the Boston University of Public Health, who is a contaminated water authority, warns people that the risk of disease associated with public drinking water has passed from the theoretical to the real. What is the answer, you ask? Many people have turned to bottled water to assure that they are getting healthy water. Is that really the answer, though? There have been millions of advertising dollars spent, plus extensive marketing by the bottled water industry, to get you to think that bottled water is safe, when in fact, it can be many times worse. Read more about these myths and why you need to learn how to make clean water in the article, Three Biggest U.S. Water Lies and the Truth That No One Wants to Talk About, published by Absolute Rights. The reason bottled spring water can be much more dangerous than the contaminated tap water is the fact that it is bottled right from the springs. Who is to say the spring water is not contaminated? Just because there is a picture of sparkling spring water coming out of the mountains, that does not mean that is where the water inside the bottle came from. If bottled water is not the answer, then maybe you fill a water filter on your tap would suffice. Most of these water filters only remove chlorine and not the dangerous chemicals lurking unseen in the tap water. Water filters also have to be changed repeatedly because the more contaminants they trap, the less efficiently they work. So you must keep careful track of how much water they clean. Basically, you are using your own body as a filter to trap and store these dangerous contaminants. The Natural Resource Defense Council, Jacqueline Warren reported, the one thing we know for sure about toxins in our drinking water is that the more we look, the more we find. Now is the time to learn how to make clean water for yourself and your family safety and survival. www.absoluterights.com